Okay, so a lot of people following this channel are active users of Shopify, which handles your inventory of your products and the selling process of your products online. And as you've probably seen, I've started using ClickFunnels and making videos surrounding ClickFunnels 2 on this channel, which is a software that allows you to build a sales funnel, which basically does all of the online marketing and increases the chances of selling products online. And what I recently noticed when I went to the integration section of ClickFunnels is you can actually integrate Shopify and ClickFunnels together. If we scroll down here, we can see the Shopify integration. So this video is gonna be looking at the Shopify ClickFunnels integration and telling you how by connecting the two, you can rapidly increase the sales of your Shopify products. And this is gonna be a completely theory-based video talking you over the concepts and the theory around why connecting these two products will work. If I can get 50 comments and 100 likes on this video, I'll go ahead and make a complete technical tutorial showing you exactly how to do the technical side of connecting those two products together. So if I get those likes and comments, I'll know that there's demand for that and I'll go ahead and make that technical video separately. But as I mentioned before, this is gonna be theory based on how using a sales funnel with your Shopify store will increase your sales. So let's look at this Shopify store as an example. So the way this integration is really gonna work for you as a Shopify store owner is if you already have a store set up like this Shopify store here that I found and you have some products that are selling and you kind of know what your best selling products are already. Adding a click funnel sales funnel, focusing on those single products is gonna be where you're gonna get the most benefit with this integration. Or on the other hand, if you have a new product you've just launched and you wanna drive attention to that single new product, this Shopify ClickFunnels integration is gonna be for you. So say that we're the owners of this super gadget store that we're on now, and we know that this drone camera is one of our best selling products. We can set up a sales funnel by using ClickFunnels, driving people to that drone product. And basically, increasing likelihood of them buying the products. So let's just quickly look at sales funnels. Here's a quick diagram basically showing you what a sales funnel is. And I'm gonna run through each of these steps in more detail in a second. But basically what a sales funnel does is it takes visitors to your store. So you basically get attention and you get a big pool of visitors. That's at the top here where you've got the awareness level. And it eventually drills those people down through your funnel, through your process and brings them to the stage where they purchase your products and then finally they become loyal fans of your brand and do repeat purchases in the future. So a sales funnel is the process of funneling people down from general visitors to paying customers. So as you can see from the Shopify article I've got up here, even Shopify says every Shopify store needs a marketing and sales funnel. So they recognize the value in having a funnel. A sales funnel is a completely old, established, proven concept, that tool is gonna to increase the likelihood of you selling an online product. So coupling a sales funnel with your Shopify store is just a no-brainer. And as we can see here, if we go back to the ClickFunnels homepage and we scroll down, we can see that ClickFunnels have built into their software funnels that allow e-commerce store owners to sell their products better. So if you click here, we can see that they have a whole set of tools available for helping online store owners build sales funnels that are gonna help them sell their online products. So back to the sales funnel that you would be building with ClickFunnels. How does the sales funnel work and how is it gonna help you increase the sales of your Shopify products? Well, it starts off by getting people at the top of the funnel and driving them down to the bottom and it takes them through different stages. So the first stage of this funnel is the awareness stage. That's basically where you get someone's attention. So a completely new person that's never heard of you before, you're getting their attention and making them aware of your brand. Then you're gonna take them through to the discovery stage where they discover the product that you have to offer. Then they're gonna go through an evaluation stage where they're evaluating whether it's the right product for them or not. And then you're basically gonna provide them with some intention. So nurture their intention to buy your product. So basically present arguments in cases as to why your product is gonna benefit them as a customer. And finally, you get them through to the stage where they purchase your product. So a sales funnel is basically a dedicated web page or series of web pages that takes people through different processes through these different stages of the funnel to eventually result in them becoming a paying customer. And the way that the ClickFunnels sales funnel that you make would work alongside your Shopify store is it would be a separate website sitting above your Shopify store, promoting a single product, maybe having a sales video in there, having text in there that's gonna really present an argument and present a case for the person to buy your product. 
and basically driving people to buy your product on your Shopify store. And if you're completely new to sales funnels, I've got a video on funnels completely separate to this that you can go and watch. I'll put a link either up here, I think it's gonna be, or down in the description so that you can click that and watch and learn more about sales funnels. But let's just move back onto the ClickFunnels Shopify integration and how you can use that to sell more Shopify products. So you've integrated ClickFunnels and Shopify together and you're ready to make your sales funnel. Now what? While a sales funnel has two basic main stages, the first stage is the email capture page. So this is your landing page where you're basically gonna collect a customer's email address or a potential customer's email address. And the reason you're gonna to wanna to do that is because if you lose contact with that person further down your sales funnel or like before they buy your products, you're gonna have their email address so that you can go back and contact them again in the future and further persuade them to buy your product. So this is a landing page that you're gonna to use to build your email list. You can see it says list at the top because that's gonna be your list building web page. So it's a landing page and basically what most people do is they have a thing called a lead magnet. So this is like a free thing you give away to someone to encourage them to give you your email address. So in this example, the lead magnet is a free video teaching people how to do something. You can give people away free training videos, you can give a free PDF to someone. Anything basically that's gonna persuade someone to give you their email address down here in the opt-in stage. So the landing page has two sections to summarize, the lead magnet at the top, and then the email capture section at the bottom. And the purpose of this first stage of the sales funnel is to capture people's email addresses. So if you go back to the funnel for reference quickly, you are gonna now have their awareness because they've got to your landing page, they've discovered you, and you've got their email address. So even if they close off the web page, close off your sales funnel, you can still go back with emails and send them through the rest of your sales funnel. Now one method I use to get people to my landing page is YouTube videos just like this. I'll make a video and I'll put a link to my landing page, which you can see a template up here, my landing page in the description of my videos. And I've just finished some free training of how you can use YouTube yourself to get people into your sales funnel. So to raise awareness and to sell products eventually down the line. If you wanna have that free training, then I'll put the link to my training below. Come to the landing page, pop your email address in here and it will take you through to some 40 minute free training of how to use YouTube to get people into your sales funnel, capture their email address, and then take them further through the sales funnel and sell a product. And looking back at the landing page template, do you see what I just did there? That was a landing page that I just drove you to myself. We go back up to my computer, this page here that I've just linked you to in the description, this is one of my landing pages that I personally use. And as you can see, I've got my lead magnet, which is the free training video I mentioned at the top here, and the opt-in section here where I'm getting people to opt in. It completely correlates to the template I showed you here, and that is a page that I've made myself in ClickFunnels, which is basically starting off my sales funnel. So that's how the sales funnel works at the start. And the next thing after that is once they've given you your email address, you're taking them through to a sales page like this. A page that has a headline, maybe a video in it that basically teaches people about your products and basically encourages them to buy, so it gives them reasons why they wanna buy your products and then a order now button at the bottom. So that's the basic funnel you're gonna be able to build with ClickFunnels when you integrate it into Shopify. Here's the model in a diagram. You see here, you've got your squeeze page, which is another name for a landing page. This is where you capture people's email addresses and then you take them through to the sales page, you promote your Shopify products and you make your sale. And one thing I actually forgot to draw here is a line between emails and sales page. So even if you get a prospective customer's email address on the squeeze page, landing page, and they drop off from your funnel before making the sale on the sales page, you have their email address and you can still send people emails, sending them through to your sales page. So capturing that email is such an important thing, such an important component of a sales funnel and it's something that ClickFunnels is gonna allow you to do with the landing pages that you build within that software. So I'll show you my funnel as a quick example of a sales funnel you can make in ClickFunnels. Here is my opt-in page where people are giving me their email addresses and it takes them through to this sales page where I'm selling my digital products. And that is exactly what the ClickFunnels Shopify integration is gonna allow you to do. You're gonna be able to make your sales funnel with ClickFunnels, send people to that funnel any way you know how, so maybe through your blog, maybe through social media advertising, maybe through your website. Send people to the new sales funnel that you've built for your individual products. Present them with a reason to buy your individual product. So with a Shopify store like this, all you can really do is have your image of the product and a description of why people should buy that product on your page. So it doesn't really warm people up much. It's not that effective in converting a new visitor to a sale 
it's just a text and image page. But by adding that sales funnel on top of it, showing a video of the item, talking through the points of why people should buy the product, maybe how it's benefited you, and then sending them through to the sales page, they're more likely to buy your products. And how ClickFunnels and Shopify work together is any additional sales made through your ClickFunnels sales funnel is also tracked in Shopify. So if you make a sale in your funnel of one of these drones, for instance, you sell one, it's gonna register with Shopify that you sold one product in Shopify, it's gonna take one off the quantity count in Shopify, and also it's gonna instruct you that you need to then ship the product to the customer. So the actual sales transaction is done separately through your ClickFunnel sales funnel, but it's also synced up and registered with Shopify, and any processes that you have like coded in Shopify, so maybe automated shipping and that sort of stuff is handled through Shopify. So I thought this was a really cool integration that I discovered this week, and I wanted to let you know as an audience who I know you are both interested in Shopify and click funnels. Using a sales funnel as well, you don't have to sell just one product, you can sell that product and then you can send it to the next page that offers them another product they'll be interested in, another product after that. So you can basically start a chain of purchasing through your sales funnel that's gonna tra be tracked in Shopify, changing your quantity counters and doing all that stuff in the background. So I think this is a really powerful setup to boost your existing selling products and to also launch new products. It's starting off by focusing on one product in particular, presenting a big case for why people should buy that product, and then you can add additional purchase suggestions on at the end too. So I'd recommend anyone to like investigate this stuff. If you want to get started with either Shopify or ClickFunnels, if you're not already using it, I'll put a link to both of those software in the description. And using the links below, you're going to get a two week free trial with Shopify and also a, I think it's a month free trial with uh, ClickFunnels. I'll write in the description whether it's a month or two weeks, but you're gonna get free trials using those links below. And I just think it's a great way of launching new products, selling currently existing products, and also increasing the average customer value because you're doing those upsells, those downsells, those suggestions, you're gonna be selling more products with a single customer visit. So increasing the average customer value per customer that comes from your store. So there's links below to any software I've mentioned in this video. If you wanna see that technical video of me showing you exactly how to get this set up, how to sync the two up, all of that stuff, like I said, 50 comments, 100 likes, I'll definitely go ahead and make that video in the future. If I don't get that much comments and likes, then I know that there's not really much interest in that, so I won't bother. But thanks for watching Start Starting Up, all about passive income tips, just like this video. So e-commerce, dropshipping, passive income, like affiliate marketing, all of that stuff is covered on this channel. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and you've got value from this video because the videos are just like this. Uh, I'm Greg, thanks for watching the video. Really appreciate your company. See you very soon, bye.